Hey everyone, I'm Gage Spees and I sing for the Speaker Wolves. Right now we're in Atlanta at Glow in the Dark Studios and we've been here for uh, almost two weeks now and we're recording the new record. It was like a really, it was a whole different thing to come here and, you know, hear the songs, like, hear them sound really good and like a really good, um, like speakers and stuff like that and all the new ideas we threw in and all the new, you know, all the new fills, you know, fill through on all the drums and stuff like that. And um, so I kind of, I, re, I revised a lot of my lyrics and, and um, I think, you know, when I start, when I first started writing, when I first started writing lyrics, um, I knew what I wanted the record to be about. I guess it was kind of bleak, you could you could say. It was, it was dark. I, do, I mean, I just I write dark dark lyrics and stuff. But um, I just kept telling myself I was just like, man, like this is this is your this is my first record. Like I want it to be awesome. I want to say everything that's been bottled up for the past you know, four years of my life that I've never had an outlet for. And, and then I started worrying about that. I was like, well, what if the, what if those aren't like relevant in my life anymore and um, it turned into a thing it's like well I know other people go through this and it's made me a better person since I've been through it and I like I feel like it can really really help someone and um, yeah <laughs> vocally everything's turning out great uh, we're, we're in the middle of doing vocals and guitar right now and it's sounding really really awesome um, we demoed some of these songs a couple months ago in North Carolina with a friend, and so we've had the, the opportunity to kind of go back over those songs and improve on them, you know, and where the chorus of this song, we might feel it's like a 7 out of 10, so let's try, let's let's take a, a couple of days and really try to make this a 10 out of 10 part, you know, like let's let's really try to push this part beyond what we would do if we, you know, if we only had a day to track it, you know what I mean? I really tend to, when I record, I freak out a lot. And I, I get like really stressed, and then I then I can't sing, and Matt's just like, well, I'll be I'll be recording something, and I'm like, man, dude, this this vocal pattern sucks, this my singing sucks, I'm not singing in tune or whatever, and and a take that I feel like is really crappy or something, I'm like, man, that didn't sound how I wanted to. He'll he'll be like, no, dude, that was great, like that was awesome, keep keep it going like that. It really helps a lot. Like there this morning actually, I was having. I have some trouble with vocal patterns and stuff, and uh, Matt was Matt. Matt just has a really good input on everything, and I think a lot of it has to do with he doesn't really listen to very much heavy music, and he listens to like the Beach Boys and like T Rex and just like really like oldie type stuff. And and this morning I was having some uh, some trouble with lyrics. I wasn't just I wasn't completely sold on them. You know, it's just. Uh, these lyrics are okay, but I know how I feel about singing these. And he was just like, "Well, just think about it for a second, and here we go." And like, he'll just help me like pull just like thoughts out of my head of like lyrics that most people will be like, "Well, no, go you know go write lyrics for ten minutes and then come back." But it's awesome because Matt Matt will Matt will just be like, "Yeah, I don't I don't care. Just like you know, just what's on your heart right now, sing that." And I, and I did, and it just sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. 